Fitness Yogis, my name is Sam, I own Gravity Yoga and today we're going to be doing about a 30 minute session for a more advanced practice. So firstly just make sure that you are warmed up and your muscles are nice and relaxed and warm, ready to go and then we're going to meet upside down um, in an inverted position. So find your seat. And just take a hand to an elbow and start to relax down. Start to allow the body to lengthen and start to incorporate your yoga breath if you don't already have it in play. So just inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Nice deep full inhalations and exhalations. So with each inhalation we're starting to feel that lengthening within the body and with the exhalations we are hoping that we can just come into um, a much more relaxed position. So we're looking to start to externally rotate through the hips a little more, so the knees are heading off in opposite directions, just bringing the soles of the feet a little bit closer to our bodies. And then just walk your hands into star position, so really lengthen in straight. Now the palms to come to the floor, and we're gently just going to nod our head yes, just releasing any tension. And then very slowly shake your head no. Yeah, take hold of your bottom handles. Lend them through. So coming into crucifix with your arms and just starting to take a grip with the handles. And breathe in, just keep that breath going right through practice. Remember that breath is going to keep you nice and safe, it's going to keep your muscles warm, your, your insides nice and warm, it's going to give you something to focus on to. Spider-Man position. And then from here, just take another inhale, just lengthen in through a little more, and exhale, drawing the knuckles together behind the back of your head. So we still want to keep our head Nice and relaxed, no tension in the neck, elbows heading towards the floor, top of the head towards the floor. And just breathing it through, just starting to allow the chest to open, the shoulders to relax, ready for practice. And take another inhale, releasing and stretching through with the arms, and then just walk your hands higher up, so grabbing hold of your long strap halfway up, we're going to double rock the right foot, so just tuck the right toes into the fabric, we're going to release the left leg, allow that leg to drop behind us, take a nice big inhale, and on the exhale, chest goes forward, winging those arms back, so we're trying to bring the shoulder blades together behind us, our head, our neck, Still no tension, gravity is pulling us towards the floor. Knee of the left leg is bent. And just start to breathe into the pose. So just allowing your body to slowly just stretch to open up. And you've got choices, you can either stay here or if you feel that you still have a little bit of mobility, Starting to reach behind one foot or the other, taking hold of the left foot with both hands, inhaling and on the exhale, kicking into your hands, sending the shoulders back a little bit further and just making that back bend that little bit deeper. Always listen to your body, so you know, always be guided by how your body is feeling today. It may be totally different today to what it was yesterday. So just work with whatever you've brought to the trapeze with you today. Good, nice deep inhalations, nice full exhalations. Inhale, 
and on the exhale, start to just transfer the left foot in and release the right leg out. Finding that balance, inhaling chest forward, exhaling arms back, chest opening, shoulders pulling them away from the ears, we don't want them right up around the ears, making that length. And just taking a few moments here, just again, allowing the body to settle before reaching behind, grabbing hold of the right toes this time, maybe if it feels good for you, inhaling and on the exhaling, kicking your hands into your hands, just lengthening through, bringing the shoulders back, breathing, just enjoying being in the moment. Nice deep inhalation and then exhaling, releasing your foot, taking hold of your strap and placing your feet back into diamond shapes, the soles of the feet together, taking the arms into star shape and then flipping the palms to face up towards the sky. So just allowing our shoulders to just relax and to release. Make sure there's no tension in the neck, maybe just make little movements to Release any tension that's there, just taking a couple of breaths. So always, always trying to keep that breath balance. The exhale with the inhale is the same length of time. And just using the quiet times to just focus on the breath, to just allow the body to be set to be start before we move on. Good, so take hold of your one hand up, so we're going to come into our superman pose, so lengthen through, inhale, exhale, just bring the knuckles back together behind the back of the head, so we're just warming into the shoulders, building some strength in to the arms, ready to push us up, and then inhaling, lengthening back through, making sure that you have a grip onto your handsets, exhaling, bringing the thumbs in to just tickle your shoulder blades. And then when you're ready, just pushing yourself up into, into your Superman. Yeah, just taking maybe a moment here to play. Enjoy flying. Releasing the handsets and in your own time, taking hold of your more straps and putting yourself into a right position. So nice and slowly, once you're up there, just taking a moment to come into a forward fold and just release the pressure that may have built up on the base of the spine, but also allowing that body chemistry to just come back to normal. into some pike backflip lifts um, and we're going to come into pike and then what we're going to do is just pull yourself away from the trapeze and we're going to pike backwards and up, pike backwards and up, pike backwards and up. So I'll show you then I'll talk you through it. So sitting up tall, three legs up in front just swinging the legs up, the head back into pike. So you want to have your toes um, to your plumb line um, of your trapeze. And from here, you're just going to lift yourself up and away from the trapeze. So you're suspended, <laughs> exhaling the toes into pike, inhale it up. Exhaling the toes into pike, inhale it up. And then when you're ready, just dropping the toes down, coming into angel pose. And from angel pose up and into your forward fold. So let's talk you through it. Sit yourself up nice and tall, grab hold of your middle hand. So we're going to inhale the legs up in front of us, we're going to tuck the elbows in, start 
lean back, send the toes up to your plumb line, and just allow a moment to make sure that the shoulders are nice and relaxed, the head is just hanging down, and you've got a nice firm grip on your handset. Okay, for those of you that um, are still practicing with your, your pike, your inverted pike and your back flips, maybe just come into just a gentle uh, back flip, that's absolutely fine, and you can work on your suspended pikes over the next few weeks. Good, so we're going to inhale, lift our bottoms up, Reach up nice and tall, <laughs> exhale, bring the toes down, inhale, send them up, exhale them down, inhale them up, one more from that, exhale down, inhale up, exhale, toes down, push forward into your angel pose, hips back, into forward fold and just release the fingers on your handsets now. Just push the palms into the handset, wiggle those feet. Control that breathing. So inhale in and exhale in. And then floating yourself into that right position. Good. Just take a moment to release your hands now. So just bringing the fingers in and out and rotating the wrists in one direction and back in the other. So our hands are wrists to take away a bit of battering with the aerial work. We're just releasing that tension. Good, a little bit of stretching now, guys. So, bunch of the fabric of your trapeze up, left leg up and over. And you want to have the fabric just behind the back of the knee. Don't have it all bunched up in the crook of the knee. And then find Find your plumb line, stand underneath your plumb line. So hips facing forwards, and make sure the left and the right hip are in alignment. Hands on the trapeze, not onto the handset. And you have to be chin parallel to the floor, gazes forwards. You can start to just lean forward, so into high lunge. And from here, you can just take a moment to find that balance where the hips are nice and level. So just walk in, the back leg back, just allowing your toes to just point down towards the floor, relaxing through the shoulders and making sure that you're not leaning into your trapeze. You want to be nice and upright, top of the head being pulled up towards your plumb line above you. Find yourself something to focus on that's not going to move. Sink your hips down and feel like you're squeezing the thighs together. So your adductors, those um, the inner parts of the thigh feel like you're squeezing them, you're activating them. Pulling the belly button back towards the spine and engaging through the glutes. And then if you feel that you have your balance, maybe releasing the hands, bending the hands up towards the sky, relaxing the shoulders. And just taking in the moment. <laughs> We're all wobbling. Wobbling's good, it's muscle memory. Breathe in. Good, one more inhale, exhale, taking hold of your trapeze fabric and then pulling yourself back. So coming into warrior two, so right foot about 45 degrees and then start to lean forwards. So now we want to swing our hips to be facing towards the right. Yeah, we're going to inhale the left arm up and the right arm back. So your wrists are in line with your shoulders, you're going to relax through and you're going to drop the hips a little bit more. So again, that left foot, just allow the toes to just point down towards the floor. So you're engaging through your feet. If your back leg feels a little uncomfortable, just take a moment to move into the position that feels good. Maybe put a micro bend into the knee, lengthening through the arms. Sinking down with the hips, engaging through those muscles. You're going to inhale into reverse warrior, left hand up, right arm behind, slice down the right leg, look up. Take another in breath, and on the exhale, warrior two, lengthen through. One more like that, inhale, reverse warrior, left arm up, right arm back, look up. Good, next exhale. Warrior two. 
We're now going to send our left arm to the inside of the left leg and we're going to send our right arm up towards the sky. Then you're going to look up towards your right fingers. You're going to push the left arm into the inside of the left leg and just send the right shoulder back. Choices, you can stay here or if you want to come into more of a bind, left hand goes underneath right hand twist behind maybe you can grab hold of your fingers behind you and you're just sending that right shoulder back looking up towards the sky breathe in or if that's a little too deep just stay in inside and pose whatever feels good for you today or whatever is achievable for you today have it inhale it Back into warrior two. You can take hold of your trapeze on the exhale. Turn the toes of your um, right foot forward. Pull yourself back. Release. And we're just going to take a moment to just release through our arms, our legs. So just making those little movements. Maybe sending the toes of the left foot back. Rotating through the wrist. And then switching sides. So always making sure that you are getting rid of any tension between poses, not carrying them on into the next pose. Perfect, so we have two sides. So we're gonna do the, the right side, so right leg up and over. And again, just taking that moment to find that position in. So hands, trapeze, hips, nice alignment. You're going to need to be to start off with toes of the left foot facing forward, start to lean forward and then play around with that left leg. Moving it into position, making sure those hips stay in alignment, relaxing through the shoulders, engaging all of those muscle groups and then finding your point of contact, your drishti point where you can focus. Relaxing through. Sinking the hips a little bit lower, and maybe if it feels good on this side, then just taking flight with the arms, releasing, spreading through fingers, relaxing through shoulders, and just finding that balance. And remember, guys, it's comfortable, so if you do maybe just wobble over, that's cool. The main thing is that you've challenged yourself. Good, inhale. Exhale, take hold of your trapeze, pull yourself back. Warrior two on this side, left leg 45 degrees, so hips are going to head over to the left this time. Start to lean forward, and as you do, raise the arms up. Lengthen through, engage through. Relax the shoulders. We're going to inhale into reverse warrior on this side, right arm up, left arm back. Couple of breaths here. Gonna inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float into warrior two. Look forward. Good. Again, reverse warrior. Inhale it up. Look it up. Next, exhale. Warrior two. Lengthen in through. Take a big inhale, lengthen a little more. Exhale, side angle pose. Right arm inside of right leg, left arm up towards the sky. So you're really pushing the right arm into the leg. Lengthening up, looking up, sending that left shoulder back. And again, you can play, you can either stay here or if you want to come into a bind, sending the left hand underneath, the right hand, sorry, underneath the right leg, and then just tuck in the right hand behind. Sending that left shoulder back, looking up, gazing up. Breathe in, feeling that amazing stretch. Lengthen through, inhaling into your warrior two, looking forward, and then gently pulling back. So, twisting the left toes forward, pulling yourself back, releasing the leg. A little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a jiggle, releasing that tension. We're going to take ourselves back upside down and meet you up there. So find your seat. Take yourself back. So 
So let's put the feet together, arms nice and wide, and start to just relax down. Nice deep breaths. Releasing, relaxing, but balancing the breath. Always, always taking that time to balance your breath. The more your breath is balanced, your nervous system is balanced, and that's what we're looking for. Um, we want our nervous system re to be balanced. And while you're, you're balancing through your breath, it has a really amazing effect on our nervous system, calming. What body is allowed to just really work efficiently. Everything, every cell in your body works better when the nervous system is balanced. But once the nervous system is balanced, the body is nice and relaxed, the mind is relaxed as well. And that's where yoga comes into it. Yeah, one more breath. Just relaxing, releasing, just feeling that tension. Release, I just felt my hands and my shoulders just suddenly release down. Good, so feet and pads. Take hold of your long straps. So this time what we're gonna do is just send the right toes back and we're hooking that fabric quite tightly into the inside of the thigh just above the knee. We're gonna release the left leg out and then straighten. So we're pointing through our toes. Remember, we're keeping our toes nice and active. That left leg is nice and straight and strong, relaxing through shoulders, inhaling, exhaling, and winging the arms back, pushing the chest forward. So again, another, another lovely heart opener. And just imagine we're flying upside down with fairies, ballerinas, just making those beautiful, beautiful shapes in the air. Switching sides, so taking hold of your straps. Left leg comes in, having the fabric. Right leg goes out, straightening through. Inhaling, exhaling, winging those arms back. Breathing, just being, just allowing ourselves to, to fly, to be free. Inhale and exhale, taking hold of the straps, replacing the feet, taking the hands down, flipping the palms up, and just releasing through the legs. So, gentle little nods and shakes of the head to just release through. to do a few sit-ups now though, so a little bit of ab work. I hear you gasp in horror. So you want to grab hold of your middle handles, double lock your legs and then just straighten the legs. So you're crocheting the legs in. Making sure you've got a nice firm hold of your middle handles, relaxing through the shoulders. So we're going to inhale as we lengthen, we're going to exhale as we pull into our handles and look between our legs. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Keep going. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Exhaling up. Keep going. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Few more. So just use the speed of your breath. Come into tune. Keep those elbows nicely tucked in. So we're hugging the midline with our strength. Two more. Last one. Releasing down, drawing the soles of the feet back down into diamond shape, releasing the hands, turning the palms over. 
Just double check in the exhale is the same length of time as our inhales. Just breathing through. One more breath. In your own time, just releasing the legs, pulling yourself into upright position and just taking the moment to come into just a gentle forward fold. And then inhale, floating up. Place your feet into the bottom handles. So start your feet onto the bottom handles. Allow your black legs to just be pushed to the top, so we're releasing the fabric behind us, and then taking hold of your middle handles. So you want to keep the elbows tucked in, sit up nice and tall, inhale, lengthen through your spine, exhale, we're going to start to just lean ourselves back. So you can make this as dynamic as you want it to be. If you lean back and you think, well, that fabric's not, not really where it needs to be, no worries, just pull yourself up, readjust the fabric, and then lower yourself back down. So you can either stay here, you're starting to just relax the body, or if you wanted to have a more dynamic, then you can always just release the hands down, maybe the knees, <laughs> maybe grab hold of the ankles, whatever feels good, whatever back bend feels good for you. And then inhaling chin to chest, gently pulling yourself up, sitting up nice and tall, inhaling the arms up, and on the exhale you're going to grab hold of the top of the long straps and start to just come into forward fold. So you're sliding the hands down to meet the feet. Lovely forward fold. So remember whenever we're back bending, we're always counterposing that, we're counterbalancing our body with a forward fold. So just relax, release. Enjoy everybody. Namaste.